Hello everyone, this is uh, Cyril from Farstone Technology. Uh, today I'm going to uh, walk you through um, setup and using our uh, newest Drive Clone 10. Um, basically, let's uh, open up one browser and uh, I'll show you where to get the uh, installation files. So let's, uh, after you land it on the Farstone.com, you go over to Home and Home Office and then the uh, Drive Clone. After you scroll down and uh, enter your email address, and uh, click on the uh, green button here. I suggest that uh, if you're not sure where to save it, um, save it to the desktop. Uh, for this recording session, I'm not going to uh, save it because I have already one on my desktop. So I'm just going to run this one. And uh, it's going to extract and prepare all the uh, installation files. But basically, drive um, the newest Drive Clone 10, um, it, it is uh, specialized in uh, uh, hard drive to hard drive cloning. Um, also, as well, um, hard, traditional hard drive to uh, SSD cloning. So uh, later on, um, I'll show you I'll show you how to. Um, how to uh, clone from one drive to another uh, with the uh, basic settings as well as the uh, advanced setting and also I'll also show you how to clone your uh, hard drive to a uh, virtual machine file so later on you can use that as um, as a virtual environment for most of the companies um, they can also use that as um as a, as a virtual server all right so now the installation is done and uh, click yes to finish the installation and uh, and now it's going to open up um in this uh, in this release that we also uh, feature um the uh, automatic uh, partitioning Um, if you're cloning to a uh, larger drive, um, Drive Clone 10, it can automatically resize the partitions for you. So that saves um, some hassles for most of the uh, end users. Right. So on the left hand side, you have Home and uh, you have the clone drives. Uh, on this computer, I have um, already um, I have already uh, plugged in one one hard drive, um, the uh, Drive J. This is a USB hard drive. But you won't see any hard drive um, on this list because um, because uh, because I haven't cloned anything to this drive yet. So so what this list uh, list about is only the drive uh, is only the connected drives that's been cloned. All right. So on the uh, right hand side, you have uh, four uh, functions. So let's go one by one. Clone drive. Um, basically, you have to specify where you want to clone from, and where you want to clone to. So, say for example, I want to clone uh, from my C drive, or you can you can also clone your D drive if you like, or clone the whole whole desk. But uh, for uh, this time, I'm just gonna try uh, C, and then I'm gonna uh, clone to my USB drive, and I'm gonna hit next. This um, this pop up will ask you if you want to format your drive. Uh, make sure everything on your drive is um, empty or uh, there's nothing important because if you, once you press yes, it's just gonna erase everything. Right. So uh, now uh, it brings you to the uh, confirmation page. Uh, see everything is okay. If uh, it's everything is okay, then uh, you click start. All right. So that's basically the uh, clone drive. Mm, nothing too fancy yet. Uh, if you uh, click into the mirror drive, you will see these uh, two options. When one is uh, incremental, the another one is the uh, file versions. Basically, this um, incremental cloning it will be basing on how many versions you would like to set. Uh, for example, 
uh, the first time when you do the incremental cloning, it's gonna clone um, same as the uh, first one, same as the clone drives. But the second time when you do the incremental cloning, it's gonna compare with the first time that you cloned, and then uh, it's gonna only um, save the save the files that has been changed. So so basically, that's the incremental cloning, and and you might. You might be asking how many, um, how many, uh, how many times um, uh, uh, it will it will it will uh, do the uh, incremental cloning before that it uh, reclone everything from the scratch again. So this is uh, where you set the uh, set the uh, set the the times here. For example, if you set it five times, it's just gonna do five incremental cloning before that is gonna. Um, cloning from the scratch. All right, so so now these two are set, and then uh, you click next. All right, so um, basically on uh, on this page is exactly the same as the uh, cloning. So you select your drive. Uh, you I want to clone from um, C. And uh, I want to uh, go back up uh, to uh, my J drive, so which is um, which is, is my uh, my USB drive over here. All right. So uh, once you're sure, click next and hit yes. And uh, if everything is okay on the confirmation page, um, just cl click start to uh, get the job um, done. Right, so uh, that's the mirror drive, and uh, let's go over to the uh, advanced settings. Advanced settings, you will be seeing three um, different settings. One is smart cloning. Uh, second one is uh, the similar boot cloning and the perfect defrag. Uh, what the smart cloning does is that um, it, uh, it ignore all the uh, Windows temporary files. So, uh, so, so the result that you you clone uh, is is going to be a lot smaller than the actual Windows. And the dissimilar boot cloning. Um, say for example, you want to, um, um, I want to clone this Windows, but uh, I want to use uh, uh, the clone drive on a, a new PC. Uh, so, so you have to check this one to tell the uh, drive clone. Um, to include all the drivers, so when you migrate to uh, to the new computer, um, that 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 you can still boot um, the, the the new hard drive with the new computer. All right, so that's a dissimilar boot cloning, and uh, perfect defrag. Um, what the defrag means is uh, uh, is a uh, is a um, uh, when uh, during the cloning. Um, progress is um, gonna read everything uh, on the first hard drive, and then when it writes to the uh, second hard drive, it's um, going to write everything in order. So, uh, in, in other words, um, when you boot your computer with the uh, second hard drive, the the, the clone one, um, it's just gonna boot a lot faster. So basically, that's the uh, defrag and dissimilar and uh, smart cloning. All right. Um, let's just leave these three on and then click OK. So that's um, that's uh, for the advanced settings. Now uh, let's go into the uh, clone or convert to uh, virtual machine files. Uh, basically, what this one does is that it's gonna um, clone um, your whole hard drive and then uh, and then uh, uh, save it to as a VHD or VMDK uh, file formats. Later on, um, later on, I'll, I will show you about uh, what is a VHD and what is a VMDK. Basically, let's uh, let's get started with the uh, selecting the C drive again, and then uh, I'll leave the VHD uh, option, and then uh, I'll click browse. I want to save it to say, for example, my favorite J drive. All right. And then uh, you click next, and then it was it's gonna bring you to this um, confirmation page again. Uh, see everything is okay, all right? Uh, click start to get started. 
So basically, what this one does is uh, it's um, uh, this this is um, a function that which uh, you can uh, maybe uh, you can clone your server uh, to uh, to a virtual machine file, and then and then you can use that virtual machine file to uh, to uh, to run um, to run uh, on on a several instance. For uh, for example, it's very good. Uh, maybe if it's, it is a very good for the uh, web hosts uh, service pro providers. So 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 that's um, that's the virtual machines. So basically, um, after when you're done cloning um, to a virtual machine file, you can download this program called Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box Manager, and then uh, and then you can import your virtual machine files into uh, this um, this program and then what this one does is uh, I have actually um, uh, started one instance so basically this is the uh, this is my Windows so this is a uh, Windows in a window and um, and and uh, basically it, everything uh, function as it should just um, is just like a window. So everything that you do over here, um, it won't affect um, your real actual windows. So this one is um, so so this environment can be uh, very good for testing um, the newly installed programs if you're not sure the sources. Right. Uh, you might add. You might. Uh, want to ask where to get this um, virtual machine virtual box program S um, to get this program you um, point your browser over to uh, virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads and depending on your uh, your OS your operating system you can download the one for Windows OS X Linux and uh, Solaris so uh, so basically, uh, uh, you can also in your, uh, for example, in your Mac, you can also run Windows. So, so that's uh, pretty a pretty neat feature. Okay, so uh, that's so probably all for this uh, tutorial. Uh, my name is Cyril uh, from Farstone Technology. Uh, feel free to write to us if you have any questions or inquiries to um, inquiry at uh, farstone.com. All right, thanks for watching.